All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole fleet like. It's your brother Isari with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit of power. We have Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechaha Kodash. Lord, when this lesson is edifying. And I came across this clip. And, uh, you know, this is just one more reason why you shouldn't trust this devil. Okay. You know, you got a lot of new things coming out, you know, new, new technology where people are putting, basically putting their lives in the hands of, uh, you know, this devil's technology. And one of those such things is the Tesla car. Okay. You know, and Tesla was doing a lot of tests with, um, automated driving, you know, self-driving and self-parking. And you know, there's a lot of things that it quote unquote does on its own. But, uh, here's an example of, you know, why you shouldn't trust this devil. I'm going to just play this clip. This is in Hong Kong. All right. And, uh, I think the sound is muted. Oh, you know what? So like, yeah. It's playing the sound, but I got to... One second. Yeah, that's right. I got to switch it over here. Okay. I should do it. Yeah. Rewind it. Alright, so the brakes are hit, right? So he tried to park it, but this is what it did. Look how fast that thing going. Going full speed. Look like it just hit a hit a biker. Clipped him. This is wild. They done. All right, so that's that clip. Okay, and as you can see, man, they get you know it says a uh, Tesla Model Y out of control at full speed. This was put out yesterday at 3 p.m. The footage is terrifying. Out of control, Tesla Y sped through the streets of the Chinese province, killing two people and injuring three before crashing into a building earlier this month. Oh, okay, so it happened on November 5th in Chaozhou, which is located along the Chinese coast. Okay, so it accelerated suddenly after the driver appeared to park the car, then speeding at excruciating speeds through the busy roads. Uh, boom, boom. He said the car would not respond when he pressed the brake pedal. Okay, you know, in a lot of uh, movies you would see, they would show, you know, uh, cars that would be on the grid, like in the fifth element. You know, everything was linked to this grid, okay, where they was able to scan your ID, you know, which we know that's going to be replaced with the MOTB technology. You know, they were able to tell him how many points he had left on his license. They were able to deduct points if he did any, uh, if he had any uh, uh, traffic infractions, you know, immediately they would be able to, to reduce points on his on his license, okay? So ultimately, this devil wants everything to be connected. And the danger you, you pose is, you know, if this devil decides that he wants to do something to you. All right. You've already allowed him to have control because you're in this car, this highly advanced car connected to this grid. OK, because you got to think about it. These things, a lot of these things have to be um, actively updated. You know, cell phones have to be actively updated, you know, and these different things. So. More than likely, that car is connected to some type of grid where all this devil's got to do is click in, take control. Okay. <clears throat> Get this first preset. Ecclesiastes 10, uh, 12 and 10 says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay. So. His wickedness is going to come out no matter what. Okay. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been all, have not been altogether wiped away. You know, because you got a lot of people that's going to be taken. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can't even say what, how I want to word it, but they're going to be surprised. Okay. They're going to be surprised when things happen. Let me get the scripture. Uh, and the apostle just named one of his lessons this. All 
All right, the apostle uh, uh, Gabar just named this this lesson. Okay, Second Corinthians two and eleven says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Okay, so we're not ignorant of this devil's devices. We know, okay, that there's a um, there's a plan or there's a plot to uh, reduce the amount of individuals walking upon the earth, so that it can be easier to control these people. I mean, there was a TED Talks where he blatantly said it and people just were so mesmerized by, you know, the fact that it was, you know, uh, Kill Gates, you know, however you want to say it. I don't, you know, algorithms are crazy. I just had to remove a video for the algorithm because they slapped that COVID-19 thing on the bottom. So it was only a matter of time before they was going, uh, which I just said that word. So <laughs> it might, uh, we, we don't know. But anyway, I slapped that on the bottom and uh, they, um, uh, put that little information thing up there. So I'm like, wow. And I didn't even say the word that I just said in that video. You know, I was using code words and it just got slapped on there. So I don't know, you know, what the algorithm is like. But anyway, because Bill Gates was on there. Okay, they uh was, ooh, ah. But literally he told you, we need to get the numbers of population down. Okay, we need to go ahead and reduce this number. You know, so we're not ignorant of Satan's device. And there's a lot of things he can use to do that. Okay. And it just happens to be one of them. Now there's another, another clip right down a little bit more. Okay. All right. Uh, meet the campaigner trying to stop, you know, that name right there from putting unsafe self-driving Teslas on the road. Okay. Now let's play this, right? Boom. All right. So apparently this is showing the self-driving Tesla in its self-driving mode hitting uh running into the strollers that are in the middle of a walkway it is truly terrible. okay um there are plenty of people making self-driving cars of various sorts this is the worst by far it is the worst in terms of reliability that i've ever seen from all the testing we've done we've ne i've never seen anything like this i've never seen a product that has this many failures Right, so it says it requires a fully attentive driver, okay. But hands on they the wheel. Not. Now, it says that, right? But when you go up to that other clip, okay, Dying. that dude was trying to drive the car and you see what happened. So, you know, that all, doesn't always, um, that doesn't always mean anything. It's because, you know, they have a fully aware driver behind the wheel. It doesn't mean that you're gonna, you can control it. If this devil really wants to, man, he can stop the functioning, he, the inside functioning, and completely take over it. It's like a, it's like what they have remote. They have a remote connection you can do with a computer, where they can you can allow them privileges into your computer, and then they can take over your screen, and then they can use their mouse just like it was on your screen. Okay, they can control your mouse, type things, enter things, install things, download things. Same thing can be happening. They they got the keys to the kingdom because it's their cars. Okay, so. You know, I just want to pretty much go in that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and it's just uh, people that are, are not ignorant of his devices should not trust in this devil. You know, I definitely ain't trying to get no no electric car, you know. Isaiah 36 and 6 says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust him. So ultimately, this devil's not creating anything for your good. You want to lean on this staff, and ultimately, it's going to stab you in the hand. It's going to, it's going to bite you. Okay, so, you know, it'd be best to uh, depend on the Most High. All right, you don't want to trust this devil with nothing he got he got going on, man, because his ultimate goal is not for your benefit. Going back to Ecclesiastes twelve and twelve, it says, "Set him not by thee." Lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. See, at the end of the day, you don't want to allow E to make significant decisions in your life. Okay? Because as soon as you begin to trust in him, you begin to lose your trust in the Lord. You know, and let's get this and I'll end it there. <clears throat> Jeremiah 17 and 5 says what? 
Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. So, okay, so trust, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. We don't trust in the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't even trust ourselves. We got to pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that he keep the spirit on us. King David did it. King David said, keep the, take not that Holy Spirit away from me and cast me not out of thy presence. You know? Because it's not our flesh that we can trust in. We have to trust in the Lord to guide us in a proper way because he's the one that controls whether we go off or whether we do the right thing. So trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, not this devil. And just be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. I wouldn't recommend you hop in one of them cars because what could happen? Well, we just seen what could happen. The devil could say, oh, look, that's one of them Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> Let's run this nigga to a tree. And that'll be your story. You're trusting in the devil. Not to say, hey, that brother's got a Tesla. That's a, you know, the Lord can intervene. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I ain't playing with it. So Lord willing, you were edified. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to you. How about you? How about you? How about you? Double honor to your apostles, elders, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for you. Let that I'm gonna say shalom, wa ba 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 shalom.